What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and I can barely open my eyes because it's very sunny outside. This is the first video in a while that I've opened up in the broad daylight like this, but I have some good news for the day. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen my last video, I did detail my car. It rained yesterday, but it's still looking very nice out here. I like how the lights shining off of it. But uh, the front bumper is not in the shape that it should be in just because of, you know, it's a 90, well, almost 100,000 mile car and there are a bunch of rock chips and a bunch of chips and everything in the paint. But I don't really care about that just because one day the front bumper may be getting a makeover. But today's video is actually going to be about this. I never was a fan of these square tips and I really don't like them. Um, and that reminds me, I still have not put the new wing badges on. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But other than that, let's go see the package we have. One thing about this car that I do like, I didn't necessarily need it though, is the fact that they have these garage clicker things. I don't know how good y'all can see this, but uh, I like that the Genesis has these on the mirror because it makes it easier for me to open my garage, even though I already have this actual garage clicker. And here's the package. I actually went with the CNT racing exhaust and I wanna see how this looks on the car. I initially thought I was gonna go with Stillin, but I ended up getting this just because it was quite a bit cheaper. Um, people say there is some fitment issues and I already know that, so I'm just gonna have to modify the fitment a little bit. But other than that, it does have bigger exhaust tips and you know what, let me just go ahead and unbox it for y'all. Let's see what we got here. Here's the exhaust all laid out. It looks pretty good to me. I like the quality of it. Some of the wheels could be a little bit smoother, if that's the right word. But all in all, I think I'm gonna like it. I don't know how I'm gonna like this H-pipe part of it, but the rest of it, I think I'm gonna like because it's full straight on back to these mufflers. And the tips, like I said, I think are a little bigger than the stilling tips I had. But let me go ahead and start the car up, pull it up under here and get to work. So we got the car up in the air, supported by jack stands. And let's see what we finally had under here. And from the looks of it, like Mikey said, this is not a stock exhaust. It's stock enough, it's stock-ish. But you can see all the, the little wells they made in the bins. And I believe they cut it from right here. So it's just the, you know, I don't know what this is called, the axle back part that's not stock. But all the rest is stock. But we're just going to drop this down and what we're going to do is all the way up here. Wait, let me get a look closer. These are the cats and we're just going to, this is a cat back so everything from there on back is going to be removed. I need a 19 and I need a breaker ball. Wait, that's a, oh, no. Well, make sure it's hot, I mean. In the fall, we could catch it without burning us. Hopefully, you can catch it without burning yourself. That's all, look at that. That hanging right there. How you gonna get it off? All right. Yeah, you know what? Well, from under it and I'm gonna pull it. Oh, yeah. Off. 
I don't know. I'm getting no easier than that. Alright, so I finally got the exhaust up and it seems like it was pretty decent quality finish. But uh other than that, the tips, let me show y'all that. They are quite big. I do like that. But look at this. As you can see, the driver's side is a lot lower than the passenger side, which was something that I knew from reading the reviews and stuff, but I'm about to try to fix this. I have zip ties, and what I'm going to do is, you see this hanger right here? It's pretty low. The, I think they, the way they built it, they made this too long. And so, yeah, I'm about to try to zip tie it up. So it would bring the exhaust up and clear some of this gappage. All right, so scratch that terrible idea. I'm going to get some hose clamps because this is still terrible. A few moments later. I got it a little bit better. I ended up buying the wrong size uh, hose clamp. I bought them a little bit too big. One day I'm going to change them back out just so I can get the fitment a little better. But as for now, I'm just going to jack the car down and see how it sounds. It's a little bit throatier, just a little bit. A little bit throatier. It's just the cat back still, so I don't know. I'm gonna see something right quick. Well, I mean, it's a cat back, so you can't expect too much from it. I'm ready to see how it drives, honestly. All right, so let's see what we have with this exhaust. And it sounds like it's a little bit a little bit more throaty just a little bit just because it was a modded stock muffler but uh yeah the only things i have to compare this to are of course my last mustang which was way louder than this and my previous genesis which had a still in cat back but it was also a full exhaust and i don't know it was quite modded and this one is it's kind of tame i want it to be a little less tame so headers Downpipe, test pipe, y'all might be coming soon. Alright. <laughs> it's not loud at all. It needs to be louder. It definitely could be a little louder. Yeah, it definitely could be a little louder. I wish I had somebody to record, but Mikey went to work. So I don't have him to record the outside of the car. Uh, let's see a downshift. Little pops, little pops. All right, I'm gonna turn around right here. On the initial drive, I don't hear any drone. I hear a little more exhaust, which is a good thing. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted to go for. But the CNT, I don't know, I feel like once I get the down pipes and test pipes and open the exhaust up a little more, it'll be a little bit more what I've been wanting to get to. But as for now, I guess this will do. I'm more proud about the bigger exhaust tips that it has and that it does have a nice tone to it now that I'm looking at it. So that's a plus in my book. But this just about wraps up this video. I'm gonna end it right here. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And to get ahead of the game, make sure you hit the notification bell to get all the notifications whenever I post all my content. You won't wanna miss what's in store for this car. Oh, and by the way, I did change my Instagram name. It's gonna be at the bottom of the screen right now. I've decided to name the car Dawn because I don't know, I just, I like the name. It's, it's a nice feminine name, but 
is also a nice bad <laughs> feminine name and you can't go wrong with it comment down in the section below and let me know if i should do any cosmetic mods now since i've got my exhaust or should i continue working on making this thing louder go ahead and smash the like button share it with your friends and family if they were thinking about getting this exhaust just to see how it fits and how it sounds and all of that good stuff and i will also be po posting a short exhaust clip video of just the exhaust sound so check that out also but like i said this just about wraps up the video so always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching <laughs>